What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Tommy B. Finally, we got some fucking borderline promo for y'all. Uh, we've been pushing these flyers hard. I'm here with my two uh, partners in the borderline event. My man, Jones, tell him what up. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Jones, man, representing Bars Battle League, representing Universal Battle Zone. We got a banger event coming October 2nd at Lux Nightclub, and we're here to interview Cardiac, man. Let's go. Definitely, man. And my other business partner, my man, Red Out, tell him what up. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Red Out, Universal Battle Zone. We got this crazy event coming up, Borderline with Bars Battle League. It's going to be lit. Let's get it popping. Fuck yeah, let's fucking go. And last but definitely not least, my man, Cardiac Arrest. Man, we're going to ask you a ton of fucking questions about this battle. Uh, we were supposed to be doing a face-off, but Owen's beard unfortunately could not make it, but we're going to definitely reschedule that. But we want to hear a little bit more about Cardiac Arrest. My first question to you is, bro, main event status, bro. Like, this is a this is a big thing for not only for our league, but it's got to mean something to you. What do you think about being the main event on Borderline? Honestly, it's big. It's a big movement, bro. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, shout out to Owen, too, bro. He did a lot of talking, but, I mean, that pushed us, too, right? It's a it's an unfortunate circumstance because the actual main event dropped out. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, it's a great opportunity for both of us to get our shit in, to get our shine. Uh, yeah, happy to be here, happy to rock with y'all. I mean, it's a good feeling, bro. I, I tapped into a whole different bag, so you guys are going to see a whole different cardiac come October 2nd, man. It's a... Uh, it's a different ball game this time around, guys. Definitely. Jones, what you got for Cardi, bro? Yo, uh, I wanted to say, man, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the past promos. I've seen the last battle that Cardiac did versus Red Out. I was right there beside him. I just wanted to ask, like, what do you think? Because the last time you came with that energy, you came with that you know you had bars you had energy and it was really hype like is that is that the style that you're pushing this time around or you focus more on the wordplay like how are, how are you going to come into this i'm coming with that same energy all around i mean i love to perform i love to put on the show i love to get the crowd with the fucking pay for you know what i mean like you don't want to be so monotone rapper with no energy uh I'll come on that same energy. Like I said, man, like uh, I committed 100% to my writing. I didn't really give 100% to David or to Red Oak. My apologies. I didn't give 100% to Red Oak. So, I mean, this time around, it, it's a, it's another level. I mean, you guys are going to see both punches, schemes, versatility, wordplay. You're going to see the whole nine yards. I mean, and the whole performance, too. Like, I'm guys going to give you cadence, performance, punches, schemes. I mean, just open the brains and think when you guys are listening. So yeah, soccer. man, you don't need to come up with excuses. It was hell of a performance, man. You got me shook up there. I'm like, what the heck is this guy coming from? <laughs> like, it, it <laughs> nah, that's, a, that's a good W on your part, bro. You definitely took it 2-1, if not 3-0 on your end, bro. So salute to you. I mean, it I wasn't judged. You took, you took the dub, bro. <laughs> it wasn't judged. I don't see there's a winner. Like, maybe I liked my bars better. I came with a bit more material, but you killed it with the performance. So it could go both ways, right? Depends how you look at it. But enough with that. Enough with, like, what how you did in your last battle and what you're bringing to the table. What do you think your opponent is going to bring to the table? My opponent? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'll give credit when credit's due. This guy's got uh, cadence. He has voice. He has... Uh, uh, projection but he, that's all he has he has no punch lines if he does if he does they're fucking mediocre at best um basic fucking predictable as shit like every battle i watched i was predicting his fucking punch line but i can't even say it's a punch line as predicting his fucking ender um but uh he's gonna come with a uh, cadence like i said he's gonna put on a show he's gonna yell he's gonna scream a bunch of nonsense and uh i'm gonna have to teach him some, a thing or two about being seasoned and cultured now right. we we talk about you just talked about being seasoned and you definitely are. I've been uh, I've been watching a lot of your battles from Beast Mode. Um, you've been in other leagues, correct? Like other leagues all over Canada, or has it just been Beast Mode? Uh, believe it or not, I have a PY with Final Word. Okay. Uh, we went on King of the Dot. Uh, I have uh, Shark Tank. Uh, I have a few other ones off cam. Um, but as a uh, as far as being seasoned, like I was watching King of the Dot back when Hollahan was on the rise, you know. I was mm -hmm. watching Grind Time when King of the Dot and Grind Time were having their interleague battles. Like, I've been watching this shit way back before there's RBE, before URL was even big. You know what I mean? Like, I've been watching on the come up. Uh, uh, there's nothing this kid's got that can remotely come close to what I got in this bag. 
That's what's up. That's what's up. And going transitioning to my other question that I wanted to ask you, like, you know, Bars Battle Rap League is making uh, a name for himself in the States. We're making a name for ourselves in the States, but we're also, you know, this is our first ever Canadian card. Um, what does, and obviously UBZ is, is getting, getting with us and they're going to start doing cards as well. Um, you know, obviously more, uh, leagues are opening up in Canada and you being on a certain, you know, platform, you know, with beast mode and like you were saying, King of the dot, what does these new, uh, leagues do for battle rap and what's your opinion on all, uh, new leagues coming in? I believe it opens up an opportunity for the overlooked. You know what I mean? A lot of time there's a thousand, try, a thousand people trying to get into one small door. And I mean, great talent gets overlooked and it's a shame. I've seen it. I witnessed it done in the past and people get pushed, politics get involved. And again, you get overlooked. So the more platforms we have available, the more opportunity these talent have to get the words across. You know what I mean? To be exposed, the exposure that they deserve. I mean, uh, I give credit when credit's due. So if this kid comes up with somewhat mediocrely decent, I'll give him his fucking credit. Uh, but, I mean, as opposed to other leagues coming up, I mean, like I said, it's a great opportunity. Uh, it offers a lot more than just trying to get into one platform where a thousand people are competing for that same fucking title. You know what I mean? Like, get out there. Just it, it uh, broaden your horizon, too. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I hate those leagues like URL. When you get caught into them, they try to pin you down to that one that one uh, roster. You know what I mean? They try to sign you on that contract. I'm not about that shit. Freelance. Get out there. If you're stuck to one audience, one one league, you know what I mean? You're not going to cater yourself to any views. You're going to be stuck to that same audience every fucking drop. So no one's going to really, except who's already heard you, hear you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's my uh, view on other leagues. No, definitely. And that's what we're really trying to do is have another outlet, you know, gaining, you know, gaining um, more exposure for Canadian battle rap and, and more performances and shit like that. The more the more leaks, the, the better. That's that's my opinion as well. Jones, what else you got for cardiac, bro? Honestly, I've, I've seen I've seen a lot of this happening where where there's a transition between leagues and and where, you know, seeing the growth of individual battlers. I mean, with Cardiac specifically, you know, a lot of growth. He was there in the beginning when we weren't even a league at all. We were just, you know, 20 guys just having fun in, in a comment board. He was there right from the beginning and he, and he got to see us grow and all that stuff. So I guess my question to him is, where do you see the future? of battle rap is it do you, do you see the future of battle rap going like as as a battle when you were in the beginning or do you see this kind of transitioning to something a little bit more look at saint l.a saint l.a just won 50 racks on king of the dot you know what i mean and now they have another s1 series i mean we're uh it, it's an always developing uh uh field you know what i mean like we're always going to be progressing and getting better uh i love when i see leagues progress and then i love when leagues leagues they, they build up a roster and then another league will compete with them like say uh uh url just went against queen of the ring they had an event together there was a cross league and they had their best opponents and their best mcs and femcs battle each other and that shit fucking rocked you know what i mean so i love to see uh sorry i love to see leagues develop get a roster and build it up and then it uh i love to see again it happens people get overlooked i like to see people who are shit in the beginning of the league slowly climb up like look at poor rich who was overlooked for the longest time he was in uh king of the dot champion you know what i mean like he was classified a fucking battle drunk in the beginning but then he became again champion fucking uh people who are unexpected become on the rise that's what i like to see people that just go sharon this guy was overlooked he was a fucking he went on a reigning chair for the longest time uh, a lot of people, you know what I mean? Like, look at that animosity between Hollahan and Pat Stay. I mean, I know that was fucking almost a decade ago, but still, that's the type of shit we need, you know what I mean? That kind of uh, animosity, that intensity between the two battlers, that's the type of shit that I like to see. That Marv 1 versus Pat Stay type of energy, you know what I mean? Like, not necessarily the 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 bars that were used, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not that heartless no more, but I mean, we need that type of energy in this scene again, you know? No, absolutely. That's I agree with you 100% on that. Red, what you got for Cardi, bro? I mean, yeah, definitely. So, like you guys are saying, we're evolving. It's definitely – I think it's good for the leagues to come together and work together because, like, again, like, you can't – one league's not going to want to have the same battler on the card every time, right? So the only way for you to kind of stay active is by having – other places to go unfortunately of course there's a lot of politics in it there's a lot of this and that um where some people might feel like 
disrespected if you go here and there for whatever reason. I don't see that. I think like working together is is good as well. And what I like about again Universal Battle Zone and bars is how we have the battles and the performances, like the music performances. Like we got actual like Young Stitch coming up. Jones is gonna do a set. What do you think about that? Uh, I think that's also great too. You guys are putting on for live music performances again. That it, that adds exposure to people. You know what I mean? It gets them out there. It gets them. Uh, it, it supports the local too. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm always a big fan of support local business. Uh, keep the keep your money in the circle. You know what I mean? Like keep it uh, circulating around. But um, it, it's a great opportunity for everybody all around. Uh, it's gonna be a great show. I I can't wait to pack the fucking venue. I can't wait to uh, hear the reaction to my bars because. <sighs> Like I said, bro, there's some heavy duty shit. I mean, this kid's gonna come up with uh, a lot of kindergarten A B C one two three bars, but that that's basic and simplicity. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys what structure is all about. What structure and a whole scheme. What 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 the uh what a punchline fucking means. He's gonna understand the definition of a punchline by the end of this battle. Right. Now. Uh Going back to this, we're going to do one more question each, and then we'll, maybe we'll get into some predictions, you know, talk about the cards, see who you think is going to win these battles coming up. Um, so my, my last question to you is, Owen's beard has been, you know, for the people that are not in tune with what's going on in the chat, but he's been chirping you quite a, quite a bit. Uh, he came up with a bunch of uh, uh, flyers, talking shit about the battle, which is good. It sells the fight. Um, what does that do to you as a rapper on the other end of it? Does it make you want to come that much harder against this guy or is this kind of like a uh, a setback where it's like i gotta re reassess the situation and fucking actually have a you know have a different look on what the battle is going to be sometimes to to enjoy the entertainment you just got to sit back and let the clowns run the circus you know what i mean so that's what i've been pretty much doing he's been adding a little bit of fuel to the fire but for the most part it's all entertainment and enjoyment uh i believe that's what pretty much jumped us up to the main card and I appreciate the man for that. But for the most part, I just, I, I'm not going to lie. I got under my skin for the first part. I mean, I was getting heated, but that was spur of, spur of the moment shit that I had going on in my personal life mixed up with the whole chat room. So like I intertwined them both and he caught me at the best, but it's all love at the end of the day. You know what I mean? It's just this other fucking battle. I, October 3rd, I don't give a fuck about this kid. You know what I mean? It's all right, about October right. 2nd. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And and it, it it really did sell the fight. And, you know, once we have this face off, so the viewers that are watching this, you know, the face off is coming up. And if they're going to give us a sample of what uh, was happening in the chat room, the, the, the fucking face off is going to be crazy. Uh, Jones, what, what's your last question for Cardi, bro? Honestly, uh, you know, a lot of stuff has been covered, you know, with Cardiac's history and everything. Owen's beard is going to be coming with something too. I'm excited to see this because I know that the energy is going to be really high in the building. Obviously, you know that if it's a live event versus something that you're seeing online, it is a little bit different as far as the energy goes, but they're still going to see us chop it up. I want to say, you know, cardiac, what, what do you, what, how do you feel walking into that building? Like how, when, when you, when you're there that day, are you going to, are you going to feel confident knowing that you brought what you brought? And do you think Owens beer is going to bring something a little different or is he going to spin off on that? Or, you, you know, what is, what is his reaction going to be to that? See the reason, the, wow. The reason why I don't trip off like that is because it's a fight. A fight is unpredictable. You don't know if you're going to walk in, get a 30, or get 30. You know what I mean? And the more you chirp it, you're going to look dummy in the end when you get body. You know what I mean? That's why I don't chirp, because it's unpredictable. I don't know if I'm going to choke. I don't know the outcome of the... It's unpredictable, you know what I mean? So I don't want to look like a fucking idiot in the end when I'm chirping a kid. But uh, at the same time, I, I don't tuck my chin for nobody. So I'm walking in that venue with my head held high, and I'm walking out that venue with my head held high. You know what I mean? But on the same note, don't matter if like uh I'm seasoned or like half fucking bro. It looks like there's like a fucking oh it looks like there's like an eyebrow fucking uh salted on my face for a reason. But uh <laughs> yeah, bro, I give credit when credit due. This kid has a potential. Like if he got the punch lines in and he ended added some schemes with his projection, he'd be a fucking monster. Yo, Reddo, remember Roberts? Doesn't he remind you of like a fucking Roberts? Uh I don't really remember Roberts. Remember yeah, Roberts? I, I know Roberts. He reminds me of a Roberts. You know Joe Roberts, that fucking yeah. battle rapper? Yeah, That's yeah. what he reminds me of. If he had punches in the scheme, and he already has a cadence. He's got the fucking projection down. So he's just got to add some scheme to his uh, 
and his uh, delivery, and he'll be a fucking problem. So, like, that's why I don't want to fucking trip him, man. What if he added deliveries and scheme to his fucking his material that he's bringing for me? Then it's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm confident with my shit, but, I mean, everybody wants an easy fight. You know what I mean? But a good fight is always worth a rewatch. You know what I mean? So, a good fight always brings replay value as well, too. So, I mean, I'm looking forward. It's going to be a fist fight. We're going to be swinging. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. <laughs> no, 100%. Red, what, Red, what you got? Uh, your final question for Cardi. So I uh, have two, two final questions. So All one right. is, like, basically, we talk about this season veteran stuff. We talk about what if he comes out like this. Like, he clearly shows the potential already. How do you think he's going to do live? That's one of my questions. That's another one. So he has bedroom cadence. I've seen that. He says he has a, vet, a live battle fucking years ago, but – you're not, you're not, uh, you got to get comfortable with the fucking crowd. You know what I mean? It's different. You don't get to re, uh, retake. You don't get to stop, say, don't like that. You fucked up on that. Stop, pause, replay. You're none of that. This shit's live. You fuck up, you fuck up. And uh, take it from experience. Everybody, every dog has their day. You know what I mean? So you, you could be 100, 110% prepared. Something yeah. happens. You know what I mean? Like I said, every dog has their fucking day, man. Yeah, yeah. So last question before we like talk about the other battles and predictions and stuff is like, who do you think rocks a beard better, man? Me or, or your opponent? <laughs> Bro, nobody has an <laughs> RD beard. Nobody has an RD beard, bud. <laughs> no one has the RD beard. Yeah, he rocks the beard a little bit harder, right? So... <laughs> I got nothing on RD. Um, so yeah, yeah, that, that's good that you touched up on that one question about him being online, you know, transitioning to live. This is a big deal for him too, because not only is he, he, you know, he had one live battle. I haven't watched it, but he told me he had one and I scouted him when I, when I got to, to this card, I'm like, this kid's got something if he can put it together. So this is a big thing for him on uh, the main event and he's talking a good talk. So, you know, he's confident, you know, he's ready. You know what I mean? Cardiac, he, well, you know, know he's, he's doing too much talking and not enough prepping, bro. That could be another thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> something, that's something the rookies do. You know that. You know that from experience, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, bro. You get too cocky ahead of yourself. I mean, from the grapevine, I heard his own boy, his own group don't even have confidence in him. You know what I mean? So, bro. Well, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, salute, salute the UBL out there. You know, they run a league out there, too. We definitely want to work with them. That You know, Owens Beard's been pushing this event very well. Uh, same with Z-Pro. They're both excited to come over here. So, salute the UBL one time. Wanted to get out get that out there so um again also want to salute to our sponsors man true intentions battle league salute to him uh we have the the is it lucky what you were saying what you were saying what's our sponsors those two the uh, sponsors uh sponsors include up in smoke niagara yeah and loyal ride share loyal. shout out to both of them i know J uh jake and brandy very well they're hard workers here in the niagara region they have a fleet of cars on the road all the time and they're one of the most reliable services here in niagara up in smoke niagara is one of the top delivery services as well the name speaks for itself i don't need to go into details if you want to do a google search you go right ahead but shout outs to those sponsors that's what's up. So quickly, but oh, we'll never go to bed without weed again, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Zoom's got us on seven minutes before they kick us off because they got to make you buy that premium shit, and I ain't about that life. Um, that. so let's let, we'll quickly get through these uh these predictions. I want to hear from Cardiac, and then if we have time, we'll you know see if Jones and and Red. I want to give a couple predictions. Um, so we'll start off with the top. Let's talk about your battle, man. I mean, you and Owen's beard. Is this going to be a three zero or two one? What do you think? Uh, I'm coming in with some fucking fire, fire material. I mean, if you guys are paying attention and catch it, then I'm definitely catching this dub. But, I mean, who knows? That could be my day that day. You know what I mean? I could have a slight stumble. He could outperform me. I mean, it's judged by three to five people. Remember, that's the opinions of three to five people out of the room. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if it's, uh, if it's their style or not. That's just how they're going to judge it. You know what I mean? So, uh, it can go either way. I mean... I'm going to be realistic. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm going to knock his fucking head off, but I don't want to sound over cocky and get demolished and eat my fucking words. You know what I mean? Walk with my tail tucked between my legs, so to say. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. You gotta, you gotta have that though. You gotta have that, that confidence, that energy. Um, moving on. Locust versus Red Out. Co-main event. It's one I'm round. For you what got... you say. Locust 3-0 because he's going to body him in every which way. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> personally, yeah. Locust for fucking 10 plus years. I'll watch Reno come up for 10 plus years. And it, it, it's a style clash. It's going to be a style clash nonetheless. Reno's going to come with schemes. 
fucking Locust is going to joke his fucking life away. It's going to be a style clash. So this is going to be a battle of the preference for whoever. I mean, I like both. This is going to be a win for me nonetheless. But this is definitely a style clash, and it's going to come down to the preference to the judges, if it's judged. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, Z Pro versus Final Word. Um, I, they're having a one round battle. Word, uh, I've seen Z Pro. I mean, Z Pro kind of follows under the falls under the same category as uh, uh, Owen. I think Owen is a little bit more developed. I think Z Pro is slightly under. I mean, this is just my personal opinion. I've only watched a few battles from them, so don't take it to heart. You know what I mean? It's just the the, the personal preference of one person. So, uh, I think Final's gonna take to us. I think he's more. Uh, well-rounded. He comes with the delivery, the scheme, the punches, uh, the build-up, everything. You know what I mean? So I'm giving this one the final. I don't want to call it 3 0 2 one I'm just going to give this one the final. All right, all right. Lucky King versus Dice. So, hey, LA, what's going on, my boy? I heard you're back in the scene. So, Lucky King, I know him for 10 years. I'm not going to be biased either. I've known him for fucking 10 plus years, but again, he's rusty as shit, so I don't know. This one... And uh, I'm not too familiar with his opponent either, so I don't want to call it like a clear body. I'm excited to see what both has to bring. Ayale, I hope you you were amazing back in the day, but I was a big fan of yours. So if you can uh, brush that rust off and bring it back, then you should have no problem securing this. Again, I don't know who your opponent is. I just was a big fan of yours. So, I mean, let's see what you have to bring, my man. That's what's up. That's what's up. We have RD and Heaven Soldier. Uh. RD and I, we've already had our uh, discussion. I mean, he's a great dude. Love the guy. Fucking has a hype man voice like no tomorrow. But, I mean, this is just preference, right? Like, he's fairly new to the game. He's got a lot of work in the do. I mean, not to the game, to the rap, to the rap field. He's he's well-rounded in the music genre. But when it comes to the rap field, he's got a couple of steps to take. So, uh, this is, this is going to be a good battle to see. I'm going to... Give it to his opponent. I'm excited to see what RD brings. He's getting better every time. So I'm going to give this one to his opponent. But RD, I love my man. That's what's up. Mo Flows versus Skinny Doom. I mean, this is an off the top versus written. You know what I mean? Like, so this is going to demonstrate what writing capabilities that are, uh, can bring to the table and what off the top. I I'm a big fan of off the top. I love rebuttal. I'm going to try to rebuttal in my battle myself. You know what I mean? Off the top just demonstrates another talent that not a lot of people can tap into nowadays. I mean, Skinny. Now they're right on now you're writing your bars, so you might lose to a freestyle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yo, Mofo has been saying he's gonna write, so we don't know, but you know, you know, those freestyle rappers, they always fall back to the freestyles. Love, he's my little brother, bro. I fucking got this guy's back like Carol Pack any day of the week, bro. So it's all love, you know. Uh if if Skinny writes and he freestyles on camera, the free, the writing's gonna look a lot better. But again, it all comes down to preference. I mean, if he says some fire shit in that freestyle skinny. You're taking an L, but again, look at me versus Jay Slice. It was never fucking uh, aired because I uh, freestyled and he written, and it was just a shit show, you know what I mean? So that was never an on-air battle, but if whoever was there live demonstrated freestyle versus written capabilities. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, and last but finally not least, you know, starting off the night, Julian Broderick versus Asha Beam. Um, I can't call this one at all, boys. Like, I'm excited to see what everybody has. I mean, talent can pop out of nowhere. I don't know these guys. I don't know if they have any work, any previous battles uh, online. So, I mean, uh, I can't call this one. I I'm excited. Impress me I, is what I want to say. I would I would like to say that that Ashabim has been doing some pretty good is work that for the battles. Yeah, yeah, Seth. Seth. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I seen him previously before. Yeah, he's pretty. He's, he's got a lot of potential. So yeah, I'm excited to see these guys rock again. I don't want to call it and piss anybody off because I I don't know personally. I mean, impress me. That's all I want to say. Prove me wrong and impress me. You know. That's what's up. So quickly, we down to our last two minutes. Um, what what battle do you think could be battle of the night? I mean, me and Owen. Uh, we're going to both put on it's going to be performance of the night just because both of our cadence and our style, regardless of his mediocre material or not, it's going to be performance and battle of the night. Red Out and uh, Locust are going to have a uh, second. They're going to come pretty close because they're they're high talented competitors. You know what I mean? They, uh, they've they been in the game for a long time. Their, their, their writing game is on another level. So um, when it comes to that, Battle of the night, I think me and Owen are going to take it just because we have that at each other's face kind of presence. We're going to be killing each other, dog eat dog kind of. You know what I mean? It's going to be a pit bull versus a baby chihuahua. You know what that's I mean? Uh, baby uh, chihuahua is always barking, no bite. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that concludes our interview with Cardi. 
We're definitely going to reschedule Cardi and fucking uh, Owens Beard to do another face-off. Cardiac Arrest, thank you so much for coming and doing this interview, bro. Thank you for your time. Uh, Joe, yeah, thanks, man. anything you want to say to the people before we sign off there, Cardi? Oh, oh shit. Owen. Okay, go ahead. I got for this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Jones Red, 2nd, sign us up, bro. October 2nd. Um, or do we still have time? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, October second, October second. I'm gonna fucking crush Owen's beard. You guys don't want to miss it. Uh, he's gonna <laughs> fucking cry. He, he lives with his parents. He's gonna go back to his parents crying. Uh, October second, well in Niagara Falls. Come out. You guys don't want to miss it. Hit up Tom Bland. Hit up fucking David Jones. Red out. Shout out to you guys. You guys gonna put on the hell of a show. I'm gonna rock with y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Salute. Bars, bitch. You UBZ in the building. Let's fucking go. Borderline. Let's go. Respect.